Welcome to our video series on advanced features in Windows XP. In this video, we'll explore the concepts of copying and pasting. In this video, I'm going to talk you through a very important concept in dealing with files and folders, and that's the concept of copying and pasting. What that means, effectively, is making a duplicate of an existing file or folder. For example, if I select a folder and choose Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste, it creates a duplicate. It does give it a slightly different name, you see. It calls it Copy of This is a Subfolder. But it makes a duplicate of it. And then, of course, you can rename it if you wish just making sure that the new name doesn't match the name of any existing files or folders within this folder. And you can also do this with files. Let's select this and edit, copy, and edit, paste, and there we go. We've created a copy of that file as well. Okay, let me select those and delete them so we're starting fresh. You can also copy and paste multiple files and folders. For example, I can select everything here, choose Edit, Copy, and Edit, Paste, and it makes a copy of everything. So you may find that helpful. Then let me delete those so we're starting fresh again. Also, you may find this useful when doing copying and pasting. You don't always have to go to the Edit menu. You can, for example, select the files and folders, and a shortcut, you see, is Control plus C, and Paste is Control plus V. So I have those selected, and if I hold down the Control key and press C at the same time, and nothing appears to have changed, but I know I've done it. And also, as a side note, you can also use these common tasks here, which give you another way of copying. But anyway, now I've done the copying, and if I hold down the control and press V at the same time, it pastes what I've just copied. So that's a really useful shortcut. Okay, let's get rid of those again. Lastly, and this is a very important point, you don't have to copy and paste within a single folder. For example, if you select all this, and let's go Edit, Copy, and now if I go to the desktop, and of course there's no Edit menu on the desktop, you can either press Control v or right-click and choose Paste. And there you go, I've just pasted what I copied, that folder, and those three files. And finally, I've tidied up the desktop a bit so this example is clearer, but if I go into this folder here, double-click, and if I select everything, and instead of choosing Edit, Copy, or instead of using this shortcut or choosing Control plus V, you can just right-click and choose Copy. Okay, so I've copied them, and this is an important concept. So let's close this window, and now I'm going to delete this folder. So now, if I right-click and paste, it doesn't work. It says, Cannot copy file. Cannot read from the source file or disk. The reason is that you can't copy a file or a folder that's been deleted. I can't copy and paste because I've effectively deleted the contents. I've put them in the recycle bin. And now I can no longer copy and paste them because the originals are gone effectively. Whereas if I go to the recycle bin, and OK, I've gone to the recycle bin and I've restored the folder I just deleted. Now I don't need to copy it again because the folder I deleted is back. 
All I need to do is paste, right click and paste, and as I mentioned, I don't need to copy again, I just needed to restore the folder. And then paste, and the paste works. So that's another important point to keep in mind when copying and pasting. So copying and pasting is incredibly useful, and you may find that you use it an awful lot. For example, if you have an external hard drive that plugs into your computer through the USB port, and you want to make backups of your documents, then you would copy your documents from your hard drive, and then paste them, and then paste them to your external hard drive. And although pasting really doesn't signify what you're doing, you're effectively just copying all the files across, you aren't deleting the originals. You're making copies into a second hard drive. You're making backups. So if you want to make backups of files, if you want to have multiple versions of the same file, or copies of folders, or whatever you choose, copying and pasting is incredibly useful.